Good evening, everyone. Thanks again so much for joining. Today is day 14 of my 100 day project. Wow, it's a new week. It's Monday. I'm really excited to start this week. Um, the last couple weeks, I've been painting florals. I've been painting um, Harry Potter inspired stuff. And I've just been kind of, yeah, really just going with the flow. And that's what this whole 100 days is meant to be about. Um, but after painting like really specific things, I felt like I was kind of losing that focus on mindfulness that I really wanted. And I started to catch myself really focusing on the final outcome. And I'm not saying that to you know discourage you from whatever you've been painting. It's just what I've been noticing, you know, in these sessions. Um, and I really wanted these sessions to be stress-free, um, just a time where I can get lost in the act of painting. And I think for some of the days, I was able to do that. And some of the other days, I felt like I had to really show up. I felt like I had to um, perform, for lack of a better word. So I, I wanted to kind of come back to the basics, kind of like what I did in day, what was it day two, day three? Yeah, day three. So day three, I painted this abstract like piece with just a simple background, leaves and some metallic details. And this was the day that I was feeling kind of meh and just didn't know like, yeah, what else to paint. So I wanted to this time intentionally go back to this kind of artwork because I felt like I was able to let loose with my brush strokes and um, and really be more mindful in the painting process. So that's what I'm going to be doing this week and maybe next week, who knows, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, hi Linda, thank you so much for joining. Thank you to others who are watching right now or maybe you're catching the replay. Thank you so much. Um, I'm also excited because I think I want to try mixed media and not quite mixed media as in I'm going to use acrylic paint and um, pastels or something stuff like that but I do want to use my other watercolor mediums so for example I have watercolor crayons Ta-da! this is the how many colors is this what 24 or something or 30 um, they have a much larger set and they have metallic colors and all that but um, I barely use these. I've used this maybe three times since I got them like five years ago. <laughs> so this is a great way to kind of add the crayon kind of look, you know, and then if I want to, um, you know, fade out the color, I can. And then I also have watercolor pencils. And for some reason, I have two colors missing and I actually know which colors they are. It's a white one and then a blue color that I'm missing. And I vaguely remember why I took them out but I'm kind of sad that I didn't put them back in so that's what you get for not putting stuff back in where where they're supposed to be <laughs> anyway so if I need more precise lines but still want like a textured line then I think color pencils is the way to go so I have this kind of on hand as well and later on I kind of want to experiment with uh, masking fluid and I don't know, like, yeah, other stuff and textures, like maybe I want to bring back salt or, um, or using alcohol. Um, yeah, so I just, I think I just want to really keep my sessions a little bit more open-minded or not open-minded, open-ended. And yeah, that's not to say that I'm not going to go back to painting like you know specific subjects but I think yeah just somewhere along the way in the past week or so or two weeks or so I feel like I kind of lost my way so I want to kind of bring it back so before we go further let's do our breathing exercise and yeah I have a new playlist um, it's kind of I call it Studio Ghibli inspired and if you know what Studio Ghibli is um, we'll just google it and, and you'll see what i mean but um yeah it's kind of like soft piano meets classical meets 
dream meets fantasy. I don't know. It's, it's all kind of all of that kind of mixed in. So I hope you like it. But yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and do our breathing exercise. So get into a comfortable position. Open up your chest, palms up. You can uh, close your eyes or open your eyes. And we're going to breathe in for four seconds through our noses and breathe out through our mouths for six seconds. Here we go. let me bring us back together so yeah let's start painting I think um, I will say oh oops the music started <laughs> um, I will say so I am I, I, I have this flower book and it kind of goes through different flowers for different seasons and then shows you like different floral arrangements that you can do so i will just say that i do want to do abstract art but then make it floral because <laughs> you know me i gotta do leaves i gotta do flowers i gotta do all of that so i'm still gonna stay within that theme okay <laughs> um all right rena hi oh yeah you know studio ghibli very good so i hope you like today's music um all right so yeah this is kind of this the page that i'm being inspired by so i can't show everything in this screen so i'll have to kind of put it off to the side but you'll know it's there and yeah i hope you're all doing well and you know coming in with a fresh um fresh wind of spring um, this weekend was personally kind of crazy for me. Um, I'll just kind of chat for a little bit. I um, On Saturday, we went to my husband's mom's house and um, his mom's going to be in Korea for a few months. And so instead of leaving the dog or John's dog, my husband's dog, for three months alone with uh, my husband's grandmother, we decided to take him in. And if you know me, you know that I already have a cat. And my cat has been the single cat for a very long time. And this dog has been on his own for a very long time. And so we are currently on day one, two, three of trying to get the dog at least like comfortable in the house. And then um, I think tomorrow night, we're gonna try to let them at least see each other. Um, inside the house they've seen each other when the dog's outside you know going to the bathroom and my cat's inside so ah, if you can just keep us in mind <laughs> as we try to work through that transition it's been very um very emotional for me actually more emotional than i thought it was gonna be definitely stressful um, and if you have any tips on how to get a cat and a dog especially both who are a lot older and very stubborn and my cat's very feisty like he will attack 
Um, he's a tech stuffed animal, like for no reason, you know? So I wouldn't be surprised if he does attack the dog. And so that does get me worried. Um, yeah. So if you have any tips, advice, and just keep us in your thoughts, that would be really appreciated. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. So yeah, have fun painting. Let's go. <laughs>
right. I know it hasn't been that long. It's only been about 15 minutes or so, not even, I think. Um, but I wanted to pause here and show you what I painted. Ta da! <laughs> so this was inspired by. Uh, let me show you the actual flower from the book. This one. It was, um, it's the Tulip Green Star. It's so pretty. I think I chose this because um, one of the things that helps me when it comes to abstract art is by focusing on a color scheme. So if you're, you know, feeling kind of stuck creatively, it's helpful to think of a color scheme before you think of necessarily a subject. And so for me, I was on the hunt for something, you know, more of a monochromatic. And so this is mostly, you know, mostly green with shades of yellow green, um, slightly cooler greens over here in the leaves, but yeah, just green, right? <laughs> and then I decided to take it a little bit further by adding just pops of orange and yellow to just kind of make it stand out. Um, but this is kind of what I wanted to do, just keep it really simple. And I also wanted to keep today's session short because, um, back in you know back when i did the intro video for this whole series i talked about how it was only going to be like 15 to 20 minutes or 15 to 30 minutes and again it kind of got away from me and i started making longer ones and i i do want to pause it's not a bad thing you know if you paint for too long but i think when it comes to trying to paint intentionally or with mindfulness it doesn't have to be a long session it can be a really short session too so I do want to kind of pause here and then I'll maybe add some, you know, finishing touches to this, but that's really it. And I think I wanted to emphasize the power of what you can do in such a short amount of time, right? By focusing on either a color scheme or a flower or a topic or a theme, you know, something to help you focus, but you really only need, yeah, like 15 to 30 minutes. and that's that that's really it like any longer than that then you might start to overthink um, overwork and then it kind of defeats the purpose of trying to paint with mindfulness so um, the next couple sessions this week might might seem a little short and that's kind of done on purpose so it's just a heads up for you all <laughs> okay so let's kind of finish up um, again you can keep painting you know even after this live session is over of course um, but just wanted to explain my thought process behind it. So just a couple more minutes that I'm gonna be painting and then we'll wind down. Thank you. 
All right, so I just kind of washed out my brush and I'm finishing my session. Um, yeah, I'm just reading through your comments. Rena, you completed your art. That's okay if you finished early, that's totally normal and you should finish. You know, you should feel proud that you completed something. So unless it's on purpose that you, um, you, you know, that you want to make it super detailed or maybe it's supposed to take that long, you know, that's totally fine. But a session like this where we're just being mindful of what we're painting, that's totally fine if you finished early. I mean, early in quotes, right? <laughs> There's no time limit. Um, Linda, thank you. Uh, you're not a green person, but it works for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Um, I like most colors, but green is definitely my favorite. Uh, Rena, I like short sessions. Okay, good. I mean, that's good feedback too. You know, again, I think it's okay to paint for a long time, but you start getting tired, like mentally tired, physically tired, um, maybe even emotionally tired, depending on how you're and what you're painting. So yeah, I do want to try to keep it to that time limit of like 30 minutes max. I mean, sometimes I still might go over, but I will really try to keep it short again. Um, uh, hi, Keith. Thanks for joining. That's okay. You don't. It, it's okay if you're late. You can always catch up on the replay. Um, yeah. Thank you again so much, everyone. Um, just some closing remarks. Um, yeah. So I will be live this week uh, on Wednesday and Thursday at 8 p.m. Central. Thank you so much to everyone who's been joining so consistently. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and thank you to those who have supported me through Kofi. You can check out the link down here. Um, you know, I don't expect, you know, you guys to, you know, support me every single time. It's just that when you really feel inspired by something that you, that you heard or you saw, or maybe something clicked for you during the session, you know, like, um, th this is just one way to support me. So you can find that link right there, ko-fi.com slash Audrey Rod Design. And yeah, I hope to paint more loosely and more abstractly like this this week. So thank you for following me on this journey. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.